In the aftermath of the tragic incident involving a Ceres bus in Hamtik, Antique, authorities are intensifying their efforts to investigate the incident. The Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board or LTFRB has taken decisive action by imposing a 90-day suspension on Balyacar Transit Incorporated, the company operating the bus involved in the accident. According to the LTFRB, this suspension aims to facilitate a thorough inspection of the entire fleet to ensure roadworthiness. The LTFRB notes that there are approximately 15 units of Valyacar Transit Incorporated plying the same route as the bus involved in the accident. However, Antique Governor Rodora Cadiao may appeal to the LTFRB to reconsider its decision, expressing concerns about potential lack of bus units. Instead, she suggests the company provide new buses and consider an alternative route such as the coastal road. Ako gusto ko i-appeal sa LTFRB to reconsider muna yan uh, until uh, final analysis o imbis na totally banning the, the ano, wala, na, wala na ibang ano eh, wala na ibang alternative. Valyacar Transit Incorporated has voluntarily suspended its operation before the official LTFRB decision and declared its cooperation with authorities for the ongoing investigation. Antique Provincial Government has confirmed the status of the passengers on the bus. Unfortunately, 17 passengers have been declared dead, 7 are in critical condition, and 4 are in stable condition. Governor Cadiao speculates that the accident may have been caused by brake failure. Mabilis daw talaga, he was honking his own. Parang warning everybody na, danger, danger, parang nagpanik yung, yung driver eh. Nag, uh, Nagubusin na ako, tapos daw ako parang telling everybody to brace for impact or warning everybody na there's a danger. Hindi daw, ma, hindi daw mapigil ng brakes. The provincial government will recommend to the Department of Public Works and Highways to construct another highway to prevent the same accident. Governor Cadiao said it was an accident-prone area where another passenger bus and trucks fell from the previous years. Ako gusto ko i-condemn yung road na yan. So many Antikenos died on that road section. If you can spend, if you can ask uh, the national government to allot a big, a substantial amount of money, Para i-detour ang road na yan, even if you have to blast the whole mountain para malagyan ng panibagong road, bakit hindi? JP Nunez, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.